Hey guys, it's Tiff. I just had um, a few cards I wanted to share with you in a couple of small hauls. Um, the first one is for the 12 Days of Christmas um, swap. It We had to hand make 12 items and also um, include a card. No, we had to hand make at least 6 and up to 6 could be bought and um, we had to include a card. So this is the card I made, and I did not pull this paper pack. Um, trying to get it to focus, hang tight for me. Um, this is the Good Times stack by Echo Park, and it has this really pretty um, pattern here. And then um, this is also, I paper pieced her dress from that. I colored the scarf because it's so thin. It was really hard to cut that out. <laughs> and I fussy cut her out. I um, the bear is actually paper pieced from the My Mind's Eye, um, the Christmas one from My Mind's Eye, not the more um, vibrant hues. I can't remember the name of it, and I actually have another card that I made out of it that I'm going to share with you in just a minute. But this um, cream, and it's striped. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's um, like a diagonal striped. I paper pieced him with that. And then I included some of Cat Scrappiness goodies. Um, her Etsy is catscrappiness.etsy.com, or she also has her own website, um, which is catscrappiness.com. So um, from her, I had placed an order, and I'll actually just go ahead and show you the haul from her real quick, and then I'll show you obviously what I used on this card. Um, I first placed an order for these butterflies. She had them in fuchsia, and I was like, oh, cat, can, is there any way you can make those in navy? They're totally awesome. So um, I'm getting ready to work on a layout using some of these, and she sends you the um, negative hearts, too. How awesome is that? So, um, and her embellishments are mostly felt, and they're really good quality felt, and um, she has a really good price on them and then these cameras I had looked at them a couple of times and then Kate got them and I was like oh that's it I have to have them like I knew I loved them but um so I got those and I ordered those first and then I decided um I wanted to get a few things for some Christmas cards um and that's what prompted this next order so um I got these snowflakes and they're glittery and leave those out because I use those in the layout and I got the tattered pine cones and she cut them in felt like this brown felt it's, um, it has these uh, sprigs that come with it really cute I ordered these Christmas trees so I haven't used these yet but I'm so looking forward to that um, I ordered now these are the craft products that I ordered I ordered these pockets they are so stinking cute they have like the stitching around the edge Sorry if there's a glare, um, but these are so so cute. And also the envelope or the file folders—they fold in half. Or um, I just used one on a card and I already gave it, but I think I'm gonna make an extra just to have um, to give you know someone else down the road perhaps. So um, you may see these coming up soon, but I have used those. And then I also ordered these tickets, which I thought would be awesome for journaling on a layout. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So as you can see, I used these um, tattered pine cone here. And then I added a couple I Am Roses cherry blossoms. And I actually have a small I Am Roses haul I want to share with you in a minute too. And then these snowflakes that are glittery that I got from her. Um, I love the glitter ones and I have a card coming up that I'm going to be probably using those for but I used the opposite side for these in Distress Them and Antique Linen and Walnut Stain because I just thought they go so much better with the card on this side of the girl. And then on the inside, it's pretty simple. I just added some lace and this is actually a Pale Baby Blue lace that I sprayed with October Afternoon um, Sprinkler it's the navy color it came with the rocket age collection i can't remember the name of it and then i use this amy r sentiment that says friends are the tr the true gift of the season and um distress this doily half of this doily to go on the inside here just on some cream card stock and i thought that was the perfect sentiment for these two kind of snuggling up to each other i colored her hair her scarf 
and um, her like stockings with my Prismacolor pencils. So I don't know if you can see the depth of her hair because of my camera, but she has a little bit of shading going on there. So I really like that. Then this is my next card that I did, and I use that same doily. This is a new um, Spellbinder die that I got. I really like it. And another Amy R. Sentiment that says, Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. And these are some S10 flowers from I Am Roses. And I just tied this sheer ribbon. And I colored her with my Prisma Color Pencil. She's all colored. So, her hair turned out so cute in her little dress. I love her green stockings because of the green that's over here. Um, if I didn't put it with this paper here, um, I think like her outfit would have looked kind of funny. But I think it looks really cute with that paper. And on the inside, I just put a small piece of a doily and this pattern paper. And then this is Ambush Wishes for the New Year. You're going to see that stamp again in just a minute. <laughs> so this is the final Christmas card that I made. Also, um, I got these from Kat over at Cat Scrappiness. Also, if you haven't checked out her YouTube, she's um, the Cat's Meow 1969. So, it's these here, and these are felt lights. And um, then she uses silver paper to punch out little tops of them. And it's like shimmery, so cute. And I use some Doodlebug Baker's twine up here to make them look like they're kind of hanging. And then I used, um, this is another one of the doilies, but it's a smaller one that came in this set. And then um, another Amy R. Sentiment. It says, Christmas is love with all the trimmings, which I thought was so cute with um, the little light bulbs. And then I used that big doily again and put a thing in there so they could um, write their sentiment. And then I used that in Best Wishes for the New Year stamp. Again. So I really like how these turned out and um, just one more thing to show you, ooh this is going to be a video. Um, sorry I've been a little MIA, I've just been like uber busy at work and everything and um, so anyways, these are um, my first I Am Roses order and these are cherry blossoms in the Christmas collection. They also include... Um, these kind of cream colored ones but I've already used them so I pulled them out but you get 50 of them really really pretty and they are um, where are you at S3-79 like I said you get 50 of those I also ordered a mixed pack of cherry blossoms and they are S3-427 and you get 50 of those these have more pastel -y colors and some brighter colors just a kind of good variety and then I ordered some S10s these are my all-time favorite I am roses flowers I just love them um, you get a hundred of these for like five bucks really really cute flowers and this is a mixed pack I also ordered the white pack really cute you get a hundred of those too they're S10-15 and then um Boomba also sent me the um some more S10s as a free gift so that was super sweet and then these are the last thing I got and these are like sorry excuse my rude husband um, super duper luscious and I am dying over these roses. These are the R21s and this pack is Dash 7, 8 and it's the Christmas selection and there's like maroony red and then like a really vibrant red and then some white that you can play around with. So that's why I got this. If it had been all reds, I might not would have got this pack but because it had the whites that I could play with and then the reds which of course I'll be using between now and Valentine's. I thought this was an awesome investment um and this big pack has 50 of these in there and I want to say it's like six or seven dollars so everything at I'm Roses is super reasonable I'm sure most of you know but um I kind of got a small order to start with um just because I wanted to check it out and see how I liked oh I wanted to tell you I forgot to tell you this on this card I use this paper pad they have these at AC more now and it's um some older my mind's eye 
and this one is the merry days of christmas but this is they're considering this a new pack because they've taken out like the glitter and stuff and it's just pattern paper this is probably not my most favorite one but i still really like it and obviously i started to use it already <laughs> So this is a B-side paper that I really, really like. And then um, I want to say the music notes might be A-side. See, here's the B-side. It's on these houses here, which are cute too. Um, but yeah, and actually that music note paper might be from a different pad. Because I got a couple of them at AC More Christmas Eve ones. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to be back real soon. Take care. Bye.